What's up y'all, it's Tyler. It's super pretty outside today. Lots of sun, thought it'd be a good time to pull out the Goal Zero. Kind of give you my thoughts about it, why I picked it up, and why it might be a good idea for you to pick one up too. This is the Goal Zero Yeti 1400. It's a 1400 watt hour lithium battery. Two standard plugs right here. You turn it on like that. Over here, same 12 volt power. You have USB, so 2.4 amp. And then you can run through the different units on the output, as well as the info. If you have something plugged into here, it'll tell you how many hours left you have. You can plug this into the wall using this supplied power supply right here. Plug it in there. You can also plug it into the MPPT charge controller and you can charge it from the wall even faster. You can plug solar into here, into here with this Anderson power pole connector. You got two eight millimeter inputs, Anderson power pole connector, and I'm not gonna go into too much detail. I have a video on that and I'll link it below in the description. Before we get too far into this, I'm not getting paid by this company to do this product or review or overview, whatever this thing is. So don't worry, this is my opinion. This is a 100 watt panel and it comes in this kind of cheapo case. I guess it's better than nothing, but it's not gonna protect it from anything. So here's a solar panel outside. See, it's got these two hinges right here. And then it's got these little stands. As you can see right now, it's pulling in about 77, 78 watts. Now this is a 100 watt panel, so that's really not that bad. Usually you don't get the full 100 watts of an advertised solar panel. Okay, so the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull it over here, pull it out of this MPPT, bring it on over to the PWM charger, let it kick in. All right, and now it's pulling in 65 watts. So beforehand is about 78 watts and now it's pulling in about 65 watts. My last video when I did this, it only jumped up about five watts, but it was like six o'clock in the afternoon or something like that. So uh, this gives you a better picture of what you can expect out of this MPPT charge controller. The other thing I wanna do is I wanna actually plug this into it and see how much uh, we lose from uh, running this 30 foot extension cable. Let's plug this into this. Okay, so that says 66 watts. Adding this 30 foot cable, you lose, you know, between five and seven watts. So we'll move back. Okay, 73, 74 watts. And again, sixty-six, sixty-six 66 watts. That's something important to know. Uh, looks like I'm seeing a drop of about uh, anywhere between five and seven watts. Keep that in mind. Uh, if you get this this unit, you will see some 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 power loss from the solar panel going into the Yeti with the extension cable. Now, honestly, that doesn't get me all that bent out of shape. Five watts, seven watts, really not that huge huge of a deal. I plan on adding more solar panels anyways, but having that extension cable. I can bring it inside and get it closer to my refrigerator, which is really the one thing that I wanted to power when the power goes out. So there's a couple of reasons why I got this. First is the most obvious for power outages. Since we bought this house, not even two years ago, we've gone through two hurricanes and a freak snowstorm. Power went out in all three of those events. Second reason I got this over a gas generator is I wanted it quiet. I borrowed my brother's generator when, during one of the hurricanes and it's just loud and obnoxious. It wastes fuel. I wanted something that uses renewable energy like the sun. It seems to come out every day. If it doesn't, we're in trouble. I like the fact that this is quiet and it's also portable. I actually put, hold on. What I did is I used this thing so this thing's called a kilowatt meter and you plug it into the wall and then you plug whatever you're trying to power and it'll tell you how many watts it's being used and how many amps and all that kind of stuff. 
based on what this thing told me, I could run the refrigerator on this and then actually my modem on my router for about 12 or 14 hours. So basically through the night, it'll, it'll run. So I chose the 1400 over the 3000 purely because of cost. What I did is I actually went on Goal Zero's website and in the little search bar typed in open box and you can get these refurbished units for quite a hefty discount. I think this was like thousand bucks or 1100 bucks or something like that, which is way better than the, I think they're like 1800 bucks new. So this is about how much it's pulling right now on a normal draw. As you saw earlier, it spiked up to about 400 watts just for a second. And now it's just kind of running at, as I said, 23 watts. This will tell you how much battery you have left or how many more hours you can run it basically at this wattage. So that's the sound of the fans that, are, that kick in when I guess it's outputting a certain amount of watts or something like that. That is as loud as it's gonna get. Now you can definitely hear it. It's not silent like Goal Zero advertises, but in the grand scheme of things, it's pretty darn quiet compared to an actual generator. Charging these up, and that's something I would typically have charged during a power outage, especially during a hurricane or something. I would charge, you know, my my rate my two-way radios and cell phones and iPads and all that kind of stuff. And like I said, depending on what you're trying to power, I think that unit will give you plenty enough. So the fans just turned off. That means this is done doing its gnarly power draw. So we're good to go. Y'all, thanks for watching. I hope you found this somewhat useful. There's a few, quite a few videos on YouTube about this Goal Zero product. I had my own personal questions about it and I figured I'd kind of test them out and share them with y'all as I did it, like with the solar panel plugged in and 30 foot extension cable, stuff like that. I was kind of interested to see. I hope it was useful to y'all. Give a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment below if you have any questions or if you want to see more content like this or anything else. Thanks again. See ya.